when you look at the share price, Mr. Subramaniam, currently trading at over 32 times one year forward earnings, up almost 40% over the past year. What do you say to some investors who feel that your stock is overvalued? All I'll say is that we are in good times, barring um, uh, any unforeseen events, such as, you know, if I, uh, wave three, which uh, is being predicted in India, but it's, it's uh, something, if something like that, if that happens, barring unforeseen circumstances, we believe that um, we are in a good wicket. Our strategy is working and uh, we continue to invest in our markets, in our businesses. Our clients are happy. Our employees are uh, highly motivated. They're all uh, looking to, to the hybrid model that in which you know, we are operating. So overall, you know, we are in a good wicket and I think you know, um, stay with TCS. How did COVID define the quarter for you, sir? And how did you use it to your advantage? I think um, uh, employee safety has always remained a concern for us. So we still operate uh, very much uh, remotely. We had a very bad um, uh, wave two in India. Um, but then, you know, uh, the last quarter, we saw that, that COVID was subsiding in India and then um, most of our businesses um, uh, bounced back, especially India business, uh, which uh, performed uh, uh, not so well in the last quarter. Um, the current quarter, which is the, the Q2 of our quarter, it bounced back and it uh, substantially contributed to this. And I think world over, uh, what we see in our customers is that they're all putting together strategies by which you know business has to coexist with the with this virus and uh, while uh, vaccination is at full swing and uh, we have vaccinated close to about 70 percent of our employees fully vaccinated about 90 percent have received at least one dose so overall you know uh, we are working together with a strategy by which you know we will have to anticipate the eventualities if anything happens but then we need to coexist and put in place our operating model which will deliver value to our customers. Yeah, that's a really good um, point that you make about sort of risk mitigation, especially if there are future waves and future lockdowns, future restrictions. We just don't know, right? So from a business operating perspective, what changes have you made to make your business model more robust against potential further eventuations of a negative kind? Uh, we launched what we call a secure borderless workspaces, which continues to mature, which enables people to work and uh, connect it to our systems and networks and uh, customers' uh, networks and systems in a, a secure way. That is the first thing. Second thing is that the hybrid model of working or remote way of working is integral to our operating model. And in that subcontext, we have modified and upgraded our business continuity plans to have remote working as, uh, as a fundamental part of any city site or country outage of, um, uh, you know, from a business continuity perspective. Overall, uh, you know, the customers have also uh, been uh, very supportive and they also see that this model is working. There is no need for people to be in, uh, in the offices all the time. As long as we are able to collaborate well, we are able to adopt methodologies like location independent agile that we pioneered. So overall, and I think some of these things uh, have, have become integral to our operating model, and that um, um, leaves us in good stead. 